the 14th question of uh, part b is to interface a four cross four keyboard and display the key on an uh, lcd okay so the keyboard which is uh, like this we will have uh, 16 uh, keys in it uh, starting from 1 2 3 4 like that 5 6 7 8 9 then 0 then a b c d e and f okay this is the configuration for which we will be writing the code and how to um, what we are supposed to do is whenever we cl uh, click on a, uh, any key here at that time in the screen that number will be displayed okay in the lcd screen so for uh, writing this code we have uh, uh, functions here different uh, functions first one uh, first function is the void delay function first uh, i'll be going through all the functions here then i'll be saying what uh, each function does okay so void delay we have and uh, cmd for command and this for writing the data and the next one is lcd go to xy and lcd put character lcd put string that's basically for putting any character single character or any string okay and initializing lcd so init lcd and here we have defined some constants here for columns and rows and we have column write lcd put string and finally uh, int main okay so i'll be starting from int main i'll be explaining each uh, line of code what it uh, does okay so uh, uh, from here we have our well uh, array here in which uh, 0x7, 0xb, 0xd and 0xe is written okay. So what is the hexadecimal uh, uh, binary equivalent of 0x7? If we uh, see the binary equivalent of uh, 0x7 it is 111 right. So uh, if we write here. For 7 it will be. 0 1 1 1 right this for the 7 what about uh, b b is nothing but um, the 11 11 means 1 0 1 1 right so b will be 1 0 1 1 and the next one is uh, d d means 13 which is 1 1 0 1 And the last one is uh, EE means 1110. 1110. So, what's happening here is wherever 0 is there, that column will be selected. Okay. So, initially, first column will be selected uh, because in the first uh, place it's 0, then the second column, then the third column, then the fourth column. Okay. Like that, we are selecting each column and checking which key has been pressed. Okay. So, that's, uh, for selecting that, we'll be using a for loop. In each for loop, we'll be choosing one value. If you choose this value, the first row will be selected. Second value, second row will be selected. Third value, third row, and the fourth value, fourth row will be selected. Okay. And we have the matrix here, which is just uh, representing the key numbers here: one, two, three, four, then five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, a, b, c, d, e, f. Okay. In that way, it is written here. Then we have initialization uh, LCD, init LCD. Now let's uh, see what init LCD does. In init lcd we will have some commands here cmd 0x02 it's just nothing but um, it will initialize some um, pointers here in the registers see uh, cmd 0x02 we can't, we can't actually know what it uh, basically does because it's uh, very technical but uh, overall uh, from up what it does is io clear 0 and here we have um, 4 zeros then 3f and uh, 0 so it will uh, f means one right so what happens is in uh, these places there the bit will be set to as uh, there the bit will be set as high that means all those bits will be cleared okay like that uh, same things you are doing here whatever character we pass here that will be shifted by six bits right then some things will happen from uh, we just need to know what um, basically the application part right so what happens is uh, if we call the function cmd see as you can observe in cmd and uh, data we have similar functions here right the code uh, lines which are written here and here are similar so what's the uh, main difference between both of these in the first we are uh, writing the commands in the second we are writing the data okay but uh, both have the same information right means if even if you are sending any command or data both will have the uh, same thing which is information right so uh, when we want to send any control signals and all we will use uh, cmd else we will use data okay first by using rw rw is a constant defined here this um, en rw and rs okay en means enable rw means read write rs means um, read and send okay these three constants are defined and these three constants um, 
will clear them and set them accordingly and what happens is in uh, CMD will write to LCD and not actual data but command then set ready with enable also uh, uh, enable should be low to send the signal so for command these things uh, must be followed to enable the um, sending or displaying of the data okay if you want to display any data we will uh, write uh, these lines of code and what data is to be displayed that will be sent here and that will be displayed accordingly okay if you call uh, void data and the data is sent here that data will be displayed in the LCD okay for a uh, within a delay uh, with a delay of uh, 100 seconds 100 milliseconds okay because um, we need some time to look at uh, what the output okay so uh, we were here after initializing LCD and yeah after uh, the CMD commands here what it does is cursor home command clear display command 4 bit mode entry shift cursor to write display on uh, cursor off command okay so uh, we can just uh, think it of as in uh, initialization process means before using the LCD we have to write these lines of code so that it becomes ready to show the output okay and then what we do is IO1 uh, DIR column mask okay column mask means this is the important part here column mask is defined as column 1 or column 2 or column 3 or column 4 column 1 means 1 then um, left shift 16 bits okay and uh, column 2 17 column 3 18 column 4 19 and then uh, same thing for row as 22 23 okay so these things are nothing but these things column 1 column 2 column 3 column 4 and row 1 row 2 row 3 and row 4 okay and column mask means all of these rows combined means any of the row it uh, we are uh, clicking it will be detected and same thing for the row also okay and then uh, what we have is io0 dir and uh, and is equal to not of row mask okay this also sets the row lines as inputs for the output we need um, we need one there so at those particular places where we have set here one see one is um, left shift as uh, 16 times and then 17 18 and 19 so in the 16 17 18 19 places we have one right then what we are doing we are uh, doing or here or okay so at uh, those places 16 to 19 one is there so wherever one is there that will be set as outputs and uh, same thing for the inputs also but for inputs we need zero that's why we are doing not operation here okay and uh, put string means it will just uh, display uh, press hex keys and put string here it will show as key pressed and then this function will start this is the main part of the function we have a for loop here in the for loop we are um, keeping a counter here of key okay then column dot uh, column write r val of i okay i will be initially zero so which row, which column should be activated if it's zero r val of zero is this value zero x seven means zero one 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 means this column will be activated then we are checking is any key pressed in this uh, column or not okay how to check that we'll be seeing from here if io uh, one pin and row one if row one is um, in row one any key is selected in uh, row one it's selected if yes we'll uh, break the loop uh, we'll break out of the loop and come to this part else we'll check for the next row then third then fourth row if it's not then i value will change means second column then all the keys will be checked then third column then fourth column okay in that way we'll be selecting um, in each iteration we'll be uh, incrementing the key value if in first only the key is um, found means if you have pressed 4 at that time it will break out of the loop else key will be incremented then 2 then 3 then 4 like that we are incrementing how many keys have been skipped that count will be uh, kept here based on that we will be displaying the what um, how many keys have uh, been skipped that uh, count we have by using that count we are calling matrix key here in matrix key the how many keys have been skipped that will be counted here and those particular key will be displayed okay so this is all about in this program let's uh, move on to the next one